let's say we have y equals 3x plus 1 squared. So this is the exact same function that we were looking at in the last video, if you saw it. And, and, and we called it a composite of, of two functions. Now let's look at it a little differently. If we want to find this derivative, let's call it dy dx. If we want to find this derivative, how are we going to do that? Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff in the inside and I'm going to call it u. So I'm going to say u equals 3x plus 1. And when I do that, I actually create two new equations. We get y equals u squared, and we get u equals 3x plus 1. Now, both of these equations I can take the derivative of separately, and I, I could do that relatively easily. So the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 3. The derivative of y with respect to u is equal to 2u. But I don't want du dx and I don't want dy du. What I want is dy dx. So why don't I actually take those things and, and see what I can do with them? So I have dy du. What if I multiply by du dx? Well, doesn't it look like the du should cancel and we just get dy dx? And, and even though I have to warn you, the reasoning there is actually incorrect. That is what happens. We, the dy du times du dx is equal to dy dx. And dy dx, well, hey, that's what we wanted to find. That is the derivative. So why don't we just, just do this multiplication? So let me show you. Uh, D, dy du, that was 2u. du dx, that was just 3. So 2u times 3. Well, again, we started in x's. We don't want to end in u's. So it would be easy enough to just write what u is. So this will become 2 times u, uh, 3x plus 1, that's what u was, times 3. And that should look familiar from the last video. This whole thing simplifies to 18x plus 6. So this is another way to look at the chain rule. And it's the exact same process. It's the exact same reasoning that we did in the last video. It's just different notation. In this video, we, we made a substitution. In the last video, we looked at this as being its own function. It's really the same thing going on. OK, so again, I just want to remind you that the chain rule, when you actually use it, you can think of it as the derivative of the outside, repeat the inside. So here, maybe it's best if we look down here. We took the derivative of the outside. That was the power rule, the 2 coming down. Repeated the inside. 3x plus 1 stayed the same. Multiplied by the derivative of the inside. That's just 3. OK, so hopefully the chain rule will start to become really easy for you. We'll do examples in the next video. See you then.